Hey, this is Marquita Woods, Military Mortgage Bootcamp Instructor, coming to you with another Realtor Recon. This week, we're going to take it back to the basics, just like boot camp. So stay tuned for the first steps to a VA loan. Left, 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 right, left, sir, yes, sir. All right, so we said this week we're going to share the first steps for a veteran when looking to buy a home. It may seem pretty obvious. You're going to say probably reach out to a realtor or call a lender. But the first step, if we really want to advocate for veterans in purchasing a home, is to obtain the certificate of eligibility. Now, you would think that's a very simple step. And if a veteran says they're eligible, then we should take them at their word. However, there have been instances where a veteran thought they were eligible and they were not. So can you imagine getting through the entire loan process into underwriting only to figure out that your veteran cannot obtain a certificate of eligibility? There was actually a time during the 90s where veterans were awarded eligibility, bought houses only to find out after the records reconciled, they came back to buy houses in the 2000s and only find out that they were never eligible. So that's a call I would never want to make. So the very first step in helping a veteran purchase a home is to obtain a certificate of eligibility. Us as the lender can do that relatively relatively quick um, online, but there's also a portal for veterans to do the same. We have a quick video that walks through the two steps that it takes for them to pull that certificate in five minutes. If you want that, just reach out to us. You could comment, direct message, shoot us an email. Marquita Woods, Military Mortgage Bootcamp Instructor, signing out.